Would you like to show everyone the new game? Okay. This is uh, Philip, the mighty matador of Lanant. <laughs> It takes a man many, many years of practice to engage in this dangerous sport. Just in there, and then we roll them around a few times. There we go. And then it's find your way out. Not a little burrito. This honestly makes me feel so claustrophobic, and yet he absolutely yeah, loves it. There we oh, go. Hey. fabulous. What a clever hey. dog. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Now that you're there, he's no longer interested in playing the game. Oh, no, well, I'm more fun. I'm more fun than the burrito game, aren't I? Oh. I mean, fun though the burrito game is. I think he still wants a bit of burrito action. Oh, the balls. He is literally the sweetest creature on the planet. I know that he has endless energy for this game, Philip, and I know you have endless energy for this game, but we have to stop and get started for the day, okay? Philip? Lancelot, oh my goodness, you two are hopeless. I've just noticed that you're holding something behind your back. You were acting shifty and you're holding something behind your back and now I want to know what it is. So yeah. I happened to the little antique store of the American woman. She just got in six boules d'escalier. So a boule d'escalier, uh, for those of you who don't know, is like the finial uh, on the staircase. Like sort know, of like glass, a yeah, glass little ball that goes and to the top. We are missing one in Pigeon Corridor. It's never had one. No. Well, it has had one in the past, but it's we've never seen it. So I found <gasps> this one. I love the colour. I know, and I just and I, what I was going to do is I was going to screw it on top of it and then call you down and see if you'd notice. Yeah, you wouldn't. <laughs> that was the idea. So right. But this. It's a different thread. It's slightly smaller this one than the one we have there. Well, look, when Amory gets back, I'm sure he can put a thread on that will that will fit. It's beautiful, darling. It is beautiful, but you know what I like about it is we could even stick the pigeon on top because it's flat. It's got a really nice. But you're right; it's pretty detail. there as well. So I was just thinking that that the blue would work so well with with a frame. I love the blue. It also had a yellow one, which mm -hmm. was my second choice. Page 60. That is really. Oh, darling, that's very good. She gave me a big discount. Uh, yeah. Because she said that we always. Well, yeah, bring... that's a very good discount. Because uh, most of her customers. Such come from a the nice line. one. She was asking, is the BB season over yet? So, Sadly uh, for her, yes, it's over until uh, till the spring. But she, she's wonderful. So. so, what do you think? I love it. I mean, not only does it go with your jumper, <laughs> but look at it with this. Well, I was thinking that, you know, this is the exterior colour of the the outer colour of the frame. Yeah. And this sort of cuts in the, the inner colour. So Yeah, bringing more of the blue out. Well, you know, it doesn't look that blue in place, actually. I think it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. That's such a good find. Thank you. But what I can't believe is the fact that it's been here for a few days now and you have not... What do you mean? ...picked up on it. I had it here. No! I tried, I was going to try and put it on there. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Are you serious? Fit. It didn't fit, so I thought that I... I think it's because it just ties in so well, actually. Sort of... Yeah, with a pigeon. <laughs> nice little composition. I love it, really. Very, very successful find. Well, let's ask Amory when he... Yeah, you know. to get the thread. So this is the thread that's a bit too small. Too big. Well, this thread's a bit too big? Yes. Okay, so uh, we'll have to just... What I was thinking is maybe he can drill through this thing. I have no idea. It is unclear to me how these things work. Now I'm going to go and see if the new version that I have of the Peacock logo works with an old towel. This time I've got a stabiliser underneath the towel, but I've also got a water-soluble stabiliser on top so that the stitching can sit quite proudly on the towel and then I can just wash that away. I'm going to have to leave it getting on with it because the architect has just arrived. Love the weekly updates about the chapel. I'm so looking forward to seeing him. Bonjour. 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 Philip and the architect are going through the old plans because the architect and the builders have noticed that there seems to be a stone missing on each side of the front door. We're not too sure what used to be there. So each side of the door, there's at the top of the column, a stone like this with a little hole and a little metal insert. Mm -hmm. And the chapel's so well made that it seems odd that they would have left it like that. And it's symmetrical. So we're wondering if there was something there at each side of the door. So it's not showing us if there was anything there or there. Mm -hmm. It's bizarre. 
You love the plan. Just so happy going through the plan. I need to go through and actually put them in the right order because I haven't done that yet. Okay, no. Side. Try not to break it. Mm, yeah. Ah, so just. Oh, no, <laughs> no. It's just under there. So that is not showing us anything. We found the profile of the gutters, but uh, fascinating though it is. It's not what we're looking for on this side. Shows a bit. What's the footy? No, I don't think it's that. The meeting with the architect went really well in spite of the fact that we did not find what we needed. We actually didn't have an image of just the tops of those very columns. So I'm not too sure how we're going to finish that off, but it seems unlikely that it would have been just a little hole in the building as there is now. We've been through everything that's been done during the week. Actually, the scaffolding is now finished. More went up this week and I have a little clip of that for you here. And that's it now, all of the scaffolding is done. The architect went up with him and took some more photos for us. So here's a few of the things that he spotted whilst he was up there. They've also been getting on with the interior scaffolding. See, there's another layer that's been put on so they can get really close to the missing vault. We have a close up view of the magnificent twig that's been holding the vault up for all these years. And in fact, you can see just how precarious it is on this photo. Seeing it like this, I realize it's a miracle that none of it has fallen since we bought. And here just to the left of the stained glass window, you can see straight outside through the mortar. Next week, they're going to start to scrape out all of the old broken mortar between all of the joints of the stones and make sure it's all nice and clean so they can start repointing. And then we can start making that chapel cozy and most importantly, waterproof. And I'm going to see if the towel worked because I just left it embroidering when he arrived. Oh yes, I think that's good. Let's rinse it off and see how it looks. There's the back with everything ripped off. I've just got to tidy up the little threads, but looks pretty tidy, I think. And I can't treat the front in the same way. What I have to do here is to actually soak it in water so that all of this comes off, but I'll trim it down first. It's rinse off time. See it disappear like magic. It's quite nice, isn't it? I think it's worked nicely. His face has come out okay. I was going to try it uh, dry, but um, tumble dry is occupied. So I think I'm, I shall leave it for now. I know it works. I can go ahead and order towels. Yeah. Hurrah! Oh, well, I know someone who's going to be very happy about that. Natty! <laughs> Philip is just back from taking the sofa to Andy. The sofa that Imo's rejected. Yes. But Andy has a much better eye. She's like us. She loves it. She's going to her new house. Stephen and I just bought it there. But this is what I'm really excited about. You stopped to pick up something that we had at the post office. Do you think they're too small for him? No, I don't think Should so. Should we get him to try his new little outfits on? Harris Tweed, one for Christmas. So he shouldn't try that one on yet. It's the same size anyway. And one to match your dog walking coat. Yes. Oh, it's too cute. And a lead. Yeah, because I don't think we need the retractable lead. We never use it. I always have it on short anyway. We're trying them on, but I think it's too small. He's one size up, I think. Don't, it's don't very you? Cute, but, yeah. yeah, look, his bottom's going to get cold. You don't want your little tail getting cold. <laughs> You're magnificent in it. You've got slightly Sherlock Holmes there. You are a mighty, magnificent, massive dog, and I don't know what I was thinking when I got extra small. Oh, what a size! <laughs> right, we've been to the British shop. I didn't know there was a British shop. Where's the British shop? Gare. Gare. Okay, yeah, no, Gare. I didn't know. Yeah. Sausages. They're a bit anemic looking sausages. Well, they're not cooked yet, to be fair no, to them. No, but they're oh, not very on. meaty, but it's good. They're British. 
That's the only not, thing we care not about. Not these gorgeous French pure meat ones that they. No, we want something with a lot of breadcrumbs in it. <laughs> yeah. Bacon for the cabbage, not mm. the fillet. It's a little toffee sauce for the cobbler. You have it. It's pear, peach, pineapple cobbler. We've got jacket potato, mashed potato. So you made all of this at yours and have yeah. brought it around well, this for is, us. Mash is so easy because you do jackets. Scoop yes. Them and put them in there. Yes. <gasps> and then onion gravy. The onions have been gone for six hours today. Slow cooked onions. And then we've got little. Oh, you now your American people will know this. This is sour cream with a packet of dried onion soup mix. Seriously? It's a big thing in America. But okay. There's, there's a special one in America. This is more. Have a little try. Make oh, absolutely. Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. He's doing this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you can't see. So that's the easiest thing in the world to do. Because I don't even put it in a little bowl like we're doing here. I just eat it from the top. Mm, it's delicious. And is this... This is the cheese the ball. God, the God ball. Yeah. Go on, you can go first. You sure? I feel so guilty. You pay the bills. You keep the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> don't feel guilty. Thank you so much. I will just pause to show everyone the size of the pugs. Hey, baby. Huh? That's a little one as well. Oh, that's a big there one. he is. Oh. Can you show the world your outfit, Sabina? Because you're all obsessed with it. You look so good. I'm not obsessed at all. No? No? You're just obsessed with the dip. The cheese and onion dip. Yep. Well, you're also, you look very stylish. You actually match rather well. Very autumnal. That was your spray. Just put that on this. It's a. <laughs> you look stunning and Pavlina has been trying to persuade you to start an Instagram to just show your style to the yes, world. I am a bit sceptical about that. I don't no, think that's what the world wants. But, uh, world, let us know. Is it what you want? That's what the world needs. Needs. They don't know they need it yet. But I can see you've been inspired today. It's a broad inspiration. Andrew looks so good. Honestly, this is just, that's my perfect meal right there. Let's Such see how a it British tastes. meal. Hey, you come bearing <laughs> wine. No one minds. <laughs> what's for the left hand? What's for the right hand? I'm a happy man. Just white wine for those who'd like wine. Oh, wine. Andrew. Oh, this is good like mm. Marie, excellent choice of paper napkin. And you feel like I am influenced in this house. <laughs> Every time you walk into the kitchen, it's subliminal. Absolutely. <laughs>